Okay, well, I got my zone net uh, router up here. Don't forget, I always forget there's a zoom in this thing. That's my zone net router. It's not very handy to use, but you can use it. Okay, so. Uh, and this is my settings. Uh, when, after I, as it's set up for a universal repeater, and it takes a lot of settings, so I save the config bin file, and, uh, and I can just load it uh, through the restore function in here. And uh, anyway, it's set up, and I made one change, because uh, there's an app on this phone here that I'm using to make this video that can show you wi your wireless uh, Wi-Fi chart, basically, you know, a real-time chart of your wireless uh, routers in your area, and my neighbors all have routers, and uh, so it's pretty congested around here, so there's a lot of competition for the channels, so uh, I used to just set them on automatic, and, you know, the ones that would do automatic, right? but uh, I'm starting learning now that I've got these phones, I just got them last summer, um, and uh, so I never was able to do this before, but uh, I set this one on channel 11. I can't show that, you know, because uh, it's in the phone. But uh, so now I have this one on channel 11. That's the least used area in my neighborhood here. Well, that I mean, there's some routers uh, in that same area, but they're not just near as strong as this one is, uh, where I'm sitting here in the garage. But I also know that they're uh, well, they're stronger over there in my room than they are here too. So I figured they wouldn't compete with each other as much. And that's kind of my. Uh, other routers that I used, they were all kind of most around old channel 8 to 10 or so at first, by kind of by uh, automatic mode. <clears throat> so I ended up setting them and spreading them out, and it helped the performance a lot on these phones. So these phones, are, uh, they'll drop out pretty easy. You know, you can just go from my room to the living room, and they, would, they wouldn't work. And so that's when I started investigating and figuring this out. And the mosquito story, it's a, what time is it? 542 <coughs> so that's why the mosquitoes are coming out. I haven't been outside in so long I had this little candle I found it the other day it's actually not a mosquito candle but I'll lit it up anyway and I couldn't stand them you know they bother me already uh, I can't stand can I like candles but I can't stand them by this you know in the house or anything but I, this one is is actually a mosquito candle it's almost empty and then there's a thing hanging up in the top is a mosquito repellent deal that goes with another outfit but that you burn a candle under a different a really tiny candle that don't last very long so I thought heck uh, I'll do that so um, hang on paper clip above it and uh, don't hang it straight over it it'll catch that thing on fire it's just cardboard with some mosquito repellent on it and these are two different versions of the Bane Linux I uh, can't remember which versions they are. This one to be the newer version. No, I mean, neither, they're not brand new. They're not Devane 8. They're like 5 and 6 or 4 and 6 or 4 and 5 or something like that. But this one, the, the and I haven't messed around with the settings or anything much since I put them on there. I just use them once in a while. This one, when you click on uh, different windows in the, in the uh, you know, the admin for the ZoneNet router, it just opens up, like, in the, you know, goes to the next page. But this one over here, keeps opening up in another complete page not a tab but another page and it confused the heck out of me and it keeps seems to be giving errors or something actually maybe it was that that threw me off but uh, you know when you're used to things working a certain way all day every day you get on something a little different it throws you off but uh, so if this is the one that usually does better because uh, it's a 500 megahertz you know uh, you can play music on it and you can look up stuff on the internet and stuff that's what I haven't really tried too much of now that I've got them, these, these machines should be online now. So let's go somewhere besides the router I'm in. What's confusing me though is normally when you set them up for the wireless repeater, you can't get into the admin of the router anymore. But I can. So let's see if i got a bookmark I can go to because I'm holding the phone. I can't really type anything in. I'll just go to the Debane website if I can. But I loaded that setting, so they should be working. It's taking a minute, but that doesn't mean anything that they're not very fast machines. Uh-oh. I've got a real, I've got a real IP address now. So um, 
Let's see what else. Do I have like just Google? Usually I just go to. Let's try that. A Google search. Maybe I haven't got it up. Maybe it's not all set up just right. Okay. Because I, I guess I'm still I'm on the routers. Well, that that's what I was thinking. I'm on the routers. Uh, see, I wasn't even able to connect to them until I re uh, reset the things. And now that I've loaded my wireless repeater settings, I should be right on the internet, but I'm not. So let's see what's the next thing. I'm trying to find a an address that I'm pretty sure would go to. Oh, the 2.1. Oh, no. Yeah, it looks like that's where it's trying to go. I don't know why it tried to go there from what I clicked on. Okay, uh, the Bain's website should be good. Oh, there's my own website. It should go there. I don't know if it'll... But since it's on my local network, it might try to go... It must, it must have tried to go through the Internet, not through my local network. So it wouldn't go there either, so... Oh! Dang it! It hurts. This desk is not like my desk in the house. It, it, it hurts me. That, uh, that right there hit my knee on it. And then if I if I don't hit it on that side, then I hit it on that stuff over there. <laughs> and it's a good lot wide. I don't know why I do that all the time. I guess because I'm not sitting in the center like you should with these two machines here. But uh, okay, it's on Universal Repeater. I change it to channel 11. Yes, site survey. Okay, that's what I need to do. Make sure I'm hooked up to the right router. Make sure I'm even hooked up to the right router. I could have changed my router password since the last time I saved this configuration. Okay, it's set up as a universal repeater, but nothing's selected. But look how many routers are in right here. I mean, you know routers don't go that far. They'll go across the street and a t house... I mean, you can see them. That don't mean you can connect to them, but look at that. Across the street, behind me, there's not really... Well, there are, there's a couple of businesses back there. I'm sure they have routers, but... then You know, but behind me, across the street... Behind me is farther than across the street, though, because we got big backyards. But, uh... Okay, this is one I usually connect to. My link sis. It's been acting up, but actually, oddly enough, it's... It, uh, one of the wired ports quit working right, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to quit using it. That was the other thing I was thinking about is, what what else could I try to hook up to? You know, I'm going to try my regular router, the one I use all the time, since that, since it hasn't worked in a long time on that Linksys. I tried it before and it wouldn't work. But it's showing up in here. So... Yeah, I mean, I've only got I've got another router in there that I turned the wireless uh, portion off. A uh, uh, T, not TP Link. It works good. Uh, it's just not. You know what's strange is the uh, Linksys, the old WGR45, whatever that number is. Uh, it will carry out here into the garage really well, but the newer, with 2.4 and 5 gigahertz TP Link, it will not the phones will just they'll you know they'll get like 72 megabits in my room right by it and out here they get like four well it showed 12 but when i did a speed test it showed four so the signal's really weak out here and it's a newer router well they both have two sets of antennas i started to say it has two sets of antennas but yeah they both do and then that old uh what is that other trend net it's a single uh, antenna router. This one has two antennas. This is on that too. This on that was a good router till it got. It won't get on the internet wired up. It'll only get on the internet if it's used as a universal repeater. And that ha started happening after a lightning strike blew out some electronics in our house. And it didn't get completely ruined. It just got messed up. Isn't that strange? But uh, anyway, let's try that. If that would work, I would like that very much. Okay. So I guess now I have to hit apply. Yeah, I guess I, I didn't pay attention to what was in the window a minute ago. I don't know what was in there. I know I'll have to... Uh, continue. 
I know I'll end up having to put in the password, I think. Or do you? I was thinking you have to put in the password to the router you want to connect to. Oh, I think you have to make your password. Your wireless, if your wireless password for this router is the same as the one you're trying to connect to, then you're good. I'll have to look at my look and make sure that's all good. But let's just. Well, of course, I don't know if there's a problem with this other machine, but let's try it now and see. Sometimes you do have to, once you do all this changing in the settings, you have to disconnect and reconnect your network. So let's, let's see, connection information. Yeah, it should have, it shouldn't have that, uh, that IP address from this router. It should have an IP address from the one I'm repeating. So disable networking. Now it may just not connect back up again. Oh. Okay, now let's see what our IP address is before we go any further. Yep, it's got a good one from the other router. Cool beams should go online now. So, by doing that, anytime this, I usually don't leave this zone net, I'm going to watch it not hooked up. By, by hooking up this zone net to the, uh, my other router, that one to strengthen my signal as long as this is running, but I don't usually like to leave it running all the time. Let's try a different, let's just try the Bane website now. Let's try, there we go. I don't know why it didn't go to mine. But there it is, we're online. Hoorah! Let's try, try that again, my website. Oh, I see. It's really it's my old website address. See, I use a I use a repeater, and I I, uh, I have a dynamic changing website uh, IP address, so I have to use a repeater, and that's the old one. That's why that ain't gonna work. You're not gonna get there from anywhere. Um, Yeah, we're online now, so I'm going to leave it like that. And I'm going to back up those settings. I'm going to do it on both of the machines this time because I only had it on this one. This one's getting tired. It's beginning to... Uh, it's beginning to... It, I think the hard drive's getting read more read errors, and it'll be... Wor it'll, you'll, sometimes they don't want to boot up, and then sometimes it... Uh, that's the 500 megahertz to bang. And then sometimes it'll be a while ago, it was running, and then it locked up, and then I rebooted it. I had to hard shut it down twice since I've been trying to get it running today and now it's been running fine so I don't know it, I thought it was a cold or hot weather bef before but now I, I don't think that's got anything to do with it so I'm gonna hit back up right now before I get out of this section I think once you get out of being hooked up to it this way it won't hook back up from what I remember but I'm able to work in here right now so I think if I was to do the same thing to this one, you know, re, uh, dis disconnect and reconnect, and it for, uh, it won't, it can't go to the admin of the links of the zone net through the TB link. That's why I was setting that a while ago. I was setting it to maybe let me do that. I don't know if I got it set right. Oh, I set the address really weird in there. Where is that? In the tools or something? see where is the tools is what I'm wondering maybe it's in there but there's there's a, a lot of cool a lot of neat things you can do with them but they're all a little bit different the routers I mean and you have to learn What to do in each one, and of course, if you haven't done it in a while, if you're like me, you forget. There we go, management. That's probably where it is. Oh, right there. Yeah, that's not the address I want to give it. I want to give it. I want the the address of my router. I think would do. I think. And uh, it should let me get to it from any machine on my router. And it's not the router facing the internet. There's another one on top of, in front of it. So I hope that should be okay. I mean, the only thing that would, well, 
I might. I don't know what all it would let you into. Since it's a repeater, yeah, if it's a repeater of the... Uh, that's why I never turned it on, but I'm going to leave it that way for a while. But Unless I seem like I'm having trouble. Uh, or if I just get worried about it. But since I've got another router in front of this one... Um, and I don't usually leave that router on anyway. I had thought about maybe leaving it on, but it seemed one time... The reason I started turning it off all the time is because one time I, I saw an uh, uh, IP address to I did before I got my Android phones I saw Android device on there lo logged in on the router, given an given an IP address, and well it showed up on the Linksys because that's the one it was repeating this zone it was repeating and I was like what the heck somebody's hacked my network or what, and one and I never I couldn't figure I, and it was gone so I couldn't trace it down or anything. It it had already gone by the time I saw it, I think, and uh, I saw it more than once over a period of a month or two, and then finally I was talking to my neighbor one day, and I telling him about it. He's into computers too, and he goes, "Oh, I think I left my phone or my tablet to automatically connect to any any available network." So I thought this thing was this zone net was not allowing anything to log in without a password. Uh, but it evidently was. I think the reason it was is a particular setting in here. One that's supposed to say, it just says it makes it easy for things to hook up in the wireless settings. Let me go there. Let's see. Um, I don't know if it's in the security settings or what. Yeah, see, I have a passphrase. Just like all of them. And it's not an access control. Oh, it's that that stuff there, that self pinning code. That was turned on, see it's turned off now. It allows you to change the WS Wi Fi protected setup. WS can help wireless client automatically connect to the access point. Enable WPS. Well, that's what I believe had done it, and so I turned that off. So I don't think that could be happening. I've never seen another uh, rogue device on there again <laughs> since then, but uh, still made me a little worried. Just a simple little setting like that could make you vulnerable because if anybody, you know, I was trying to do harm, then they could. So uh, by getting, by getting in, get, that lulls them into your whole network. Or at least all the all the machines you can get to through that router. Depending on it, the way I have it set up, all they're all different subnets, so you can't there's you can only go one direction. It, it's kind of weird. You can go from the last router on the Daisy chain all the way to the front to the internet, but you can't go from the front one on the Daisy chain backwards to the last one on the chain. Which I don't know if that's necessarily weird, but it just it gets confusing and it gets aggravating when you're trying to get to a machine that you can't get to. You have to go in and set up forwarding and virtual servers and everything else to make it work, and then you can only do one machine at a time. And I'm always having to change that. And I I tried a couple times to put them all on the same, <coughs> you know, change them all so that they all have the one one nine two one six eight zero like that. That uh, then they didn't work. And so I didn't know, I never did figure out, I didn't want to fool with it, I got tired of messing with it. So, uh, so I just leave them all on different subnets and then just do the forwarding when I want to go. Uh, when I want to go from one, you know, like FTP, SFTP to one machine to the other that I, or something that's on a different router. But, uh, okay, so we're good there. Now the main thing I want now is, I still don't remember where the tools is, maybe I'll go to system not remote management that's already done password settings it must be no that's just a password wireless LAN LAN I'm used to all my all my mice have uh, wheels but this one this is a very old one and I keep see even this one over here out here in the garage has it <laughs> and I keep I keep going like that and I'm like where is it Okay, so uh, wireless. What's really great not to have to go through all that though when you want to set something up that you've done before. So, nah, 
our wall. I was just in there a while ago. That's how I loaded it up. In my settings. Time zone. Password. Note management. What is I missing here? I think because, well, maybe I'm missing it because I'm not going all the way down each time I do that. Oh, that's on channel 7 now. That's right. I changed that before I reloaded that. So I need to pe change that to 11. Glad I went through there. Yeah, I did that a while ago. But that was before I loaded my settings. I wanted to see what it would look like. I'll have to look in the phone again. But it should be fine. That should be just what I want. I'll get everything back exactly the way I want it, and then there may be something. I think there's something. You know, there is something wrong with that uh, Linksys because I remember the phones had been every time I sometimes they would work fine. I had it set to automatically go to the strongest signal on all my phones. Like I was just saying the type of thing I was talking about, but only between the Linksys and the uh, TrendNet, a uh, TP-Link. Because the TV link gets weak when you go in the living room. But uh, I kept having trouble with, like, I would leave them on for them to upload videos and stuff to Google Photos, and they wouldn't happen. And finally, I started realizing my connection is either very slow or not working at all on the Linksys. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. So, And then one of the computers that's on a wired connection wasn't getting on the Internet at all, period. And I put it on a different router, and it was fine. So... That links it must be wearing out and just stopping working right. Links this. My little uh, candle went out. It's too short and gone. Too gone. I don't have a place to put it right now. <coughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going to have to, um, I'm probably going to have to retire the links this, I guess. So, I may have to end up getting a new router because I won't have enough ports. But, um, okay, that's on the right. Let me just, I'll just have to go through my, where am I? I think I was in advanced. No, I was on basic settings. Advanced, I don't need to change, I don't think. I just, well, I kind of assumed that. Right now, I'm holding this phone and I can't think, I can't see it and think well enough to change anything anyway. Passphrase. Access control, WPS, okay. Oh, let's go back. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Yeah. This router's got some a lot of good... I really liked this router. I'd probably have never bought another one if it hadn't got damaged. They don't make them anymore. That... Zonenet doesn't make a lot of stuff anymore, but they made a good router. Well, maybe they make a lot of stuff, but they don't make home routers anymore. What I don't understand is how do I get back to the area to where I loaded... Where I loaded my settings. Because I want to save these settings. Maybe I'm not paying attention. I don't want to change the password. I wonder if enabling that remote management changed that or something. 
Well, let me put down this phone and get myself figured out. I don't know what's going on here. Alright. Alright. 